What's up, y'all? It's 1028 Awakenings, and I'm back again with another motherfucking video. What up, y'all? What's going on, Scorpio? So we're about to do um, some readings. All right, if you want a personal reading with me, all of that will be in the description box below, okay? If you also um, like the clothes that I wear on my icons, um, check out couturelove.com. All right, that is my fashion company. All right, also check out Blending Cultures, which is my daughter's brand. We have books and all that stuff. All that stuff is in the description box below. There's an Amazon link to look at all the books that I've ever published, you know what I'm saying? Just to get that money game up, okay? So anyway, y'all, without further ado, we're about to do Scorpios dealing with a Pisces, all right? So we're about to do this. This could be a Pisces, so if you're a cross watcher, you can watch this. It's just energy between two of these signs. It could mean you, them, it doesn't matter. Take it as it resonates, all right? All right, what's up, y'all? All right, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe, all right? And also comment, man. I love talking to y'all. Um, I do be listening to a lot of tarot card readers, and they be like, oh, they got haters and all this stuff. I really don't have that, all right? Most of the people who come here really like me, okay? So appreciate to everybody who like me, and I hope we keep it that way. <laughs> okay, so let's just get into this, all right? Scorpios dealing with a Pisces, all right? Water, water. Y'all gonna drown in it, baby. You gonna drown in it, all right? All right, so somebody feels like they're stuck, okay? Like, pff, shit, you know what I'm saying? It's a cap on them motherfucker. All right, so somebody feels very limited. They feel stuck. They feel like they can't get out of something. Scorpio, this could be you or this could be a Pisces, but somebody feels stuck in a motherfucker. They feel like they don't have no new beginnings. They sabotage these new beginnings or that shit just not coming for them. God damn, all right? So somebody feel like they can't breathe with no air, okay? So somebody feels stuck. <laughs> Like the limit of what they can do is capped here, all right? Somebody could be holding their self back from something or something like that, but, you know, they feel like they can't have no new beginning. Their new beginning got robbed for them or taken away. Damn, another card in reverse. It was my fault, but I blamed you. Okay, so somebody is looking like, damn, okay? some It, it has been revealed to someone that, you know that they fucked up you know so somebody really feel like they fucked up you know what i'm saying somebody feel like they realize that you know they need to take accountability bro scorpio this could be you or this could be you pisces okay all right damn okay so somebody is thinking about all right so somebody is like low-key watching you pisces or scorpio somebody is watching your social media sideways cards for me and you know everybody do tarot differently so i just want to make sure that's clear but you know somebody's watching your social media they're thinking about being with you how they can't be with you how they don't have no new beginning with you they also thinking about how they blamed you when it was really their fault you know what i'm saying somebody just putting a lot of shit on you like damn you know what i'm saying damn okay so uh somebody told you scorpio or pisces they couldn't do this you know what i'm saying and now they want you back like god damn so somebody could have rejected you scorpio or you could have rejected somebody pisces and now they're thinking about how they want you back they watch your social media and they're like damn maybe i made the wrong turn you know what i'm saying i moved the wrong way all right let's go to these lover cards oracle damn okay shit this in reverse too okay so somebody was not paying attention to no red flags okay or no someone <laughs> Someone didn't see any red flags in somebody. Somebody thought that someone was a perfect divine being, okay? Someone thought that someone was just gorgeous, beautiful, flawless, nigga smell good, cologne look good, edge up look good, you know, just look good, okay? And they had no red flags, like literally. Like somebody is seeing someone, it could be you Scorpio or you Pisces, you're like, damn, the person that I really wanted to be with had no red flags like everything about this person was flawless like damn who the fuck was that okay let me find out y'all out here finding flawless ass niggas okay but this is how this person felt about you scorpio or pisces take it as it resonates okay it's just all energy okay all right now I was happy when I heard about your divorce. Okay, so somebody like, damn, you know, I hope I heard it through the grapevine. All right, so something's gonna come through Scorpio or Pisces that somebody uh, is getting a divorce. You know, it's about to be on and popping. All right. And they're getting a divorce from somebody they thought did no wrong. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Like whoever they was married to, they would take, oh, I'm seeing a white uh 
uh, feather here, okay? Maybe y'all just seen one, but whoever they was married to, they saw no fault in this person. And now they realizing like, hell not, nah, this person bullshit, okay? And Scorpio or Pisces, you're watching someone, okay? This is the person that you're watching. This is this is what someone you told, like, I can't fuck with you no more. You know what I'm saying? I can't fuck with you, Scorpio, or I can't fuck with you, Spice Pisces. And now... They watching your social media and they thinking about how, like, how can they get in there? Like, how can I holler at Scorpio again? Like, wh how am I going to approach this female? You know, how am I going to get at this nigga? Like, damn, you know, I know I fucked up, but can I holler at you? You know what I'm saying? All right. And they just hope that you could forgive them one day. So, you know, Scorpio, this person wants your forgiveness or Pisces. You want the Scorpio's forgiveness or take it how it resonates. But somebody just want to know if you're going to forgive them. Like, yeah, I fucked up. I moved the wrong way. But how, how can we heal it? You know, what can we do to really, you know, get past this? Okay. Damn, Scorpio dealing with a Pisces. This is a lot of emotions too. Two water signs. It's like, <sighs> it's heavy. You know, I'm just heavy, heavy, like a Chevy, baby. All right, so somebody is realizing like they gave up something that had no red flags, but it was intense passion. So someone is paying attention to how they gave up on something that had no red flags for something that had absolutely no tender loving and kissing, no nothing but a nothing but a TKO. Okay, so there was no TLC. There was absolutely no passion in this marriage here because passion fell on top of divorce. And uh, that's that's what somebody picked over you, Pisces, or that's what somebody picked over you, Scorpios. And they did it because of their children. OK, so this person really loved their kids. You know what I'm saying? And they just feel like, you know, you know, children are really important and I really just don't want to fuck up my kids. OK, um, but this person really did the things that they did, Scorpio or Pisces, because they love their kids, you know, and they just didn't want their kids to have a fucked up start. You know, maybe this person that you're thinking about had a crazy ass childhood. Their mama wasn't there. Their daddy wasn't there. This person could have took a vow as a kid. Like, man, when I get married, I'm going to stay married. I'm never going to get a divorce. You know what I'm saying? Because I want my kids to grow up with both of their parents. This could be what happened between you and this Pisces or this Pisces and this Scorpio, all right? But now they realize, like, I can't even fuck with this bitch I got married to. I can't even fuck with this nigga I got married to. This nigga flew gazy as fuck, you know what I'm saying? And now they thinking about how the fuck we gonna do this with the kids? How am I gonna do this with my kids? How am I gonna be better? But, you know, as a word of, as, of his advice, you know, to you guys, like, it, your life is better. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there are some toxic ass women out there and there are some toxic ass vindictive men. And it, it really just took time and energy to heal these wounds. So, you know, your kids, if you're happy, they'll have a happier life too, you know? But if you're miserable and you're fighting with your spouse and you're exposing your kids to this stuff, you're going to fuck your kids up. And them kids is going to grow up and be looking for niggas and bitches who got these same toxic traits just like you did, you know, because you stuck it out in some toxic shit and they're not going to be happy. Okay. So just be mindful of that. All right. You're like a drug. I can't get enough. So somebody just watching your ass like, ooh, you know, every time you post it like, damn, you know, Pisces posted shit. Let me see what the fuck he got going on. OK. Or somebody's hyped up about you, Scorpio, because they feel like they just can't get enough of you. You know, they could be learning from you, expanding from you, growing from you every day. You could, you know, do something, but they just feel like you, you the truth. OK, I'm hearing you the truth. OK, I'm hearing winning. All right. I think that's Dave, Dave Callett or Mr. Callett. I don't know his name. OK, but I hear something like that. All right. So you are my prized possession in reverse. OK, so somebody knew that that you was a prize. Somebody knew that you was the truth. But they didn't invest in you. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know. This is kind of crazy. But, you know, we are sometimes used to a lot of toxic things because that's just what we're used to. Um, and somebody feel like they bamboozled their prized possession for something that had like no passion, no love, no give and take, just dry, just dusty. What I'm seeing is somebody extremely ashy. This person could be very ashy. This person could not get their toes done. You know, when this person rubbed their feet up against whoever this person is, they could hate it. You know what I'm saying? Somebody toenails could cut the sheets damn bitch get your toes done who toes is that i just seen somebody crusty ass toes bruh okay so i wish we 
would go back, okay, in reverse, okay? So somebody wants to recreate the past. They want to come back in. You know, they, they want this situation back. You know what I'm saying? They was hiding it. With this card being in reverse, I wish you would come back in reverse. Like, they don't even know if you're going to come back, okay? And they could be they could be wanting you to come back, but they don't even know if you're going to do it. You know what I'm saying? This is a lot of sideways cards, you know? Um, I need to focus on my healing, all right? So somebody is trying to heal right now, but why they healing? They watching you, Scorpio, or Pisces take it as it resonate. Um, I fear that you will reject me. Damn. So somebody like, damn, I do want to come to you and I want you back. But damn, are you going to say no, Pisces? Are you going to say no, Scorpio? Are you going to be like, what the fuck? Because I, I felt trapped. Okay. So somebody felt very, very trapped in a situation. Now they like, fuck this shit. You know, you know, they like, I want to get a divorce. I can't do this. Like, I'm going to be better. I'm going to be a better mom if I just take care of my kid on my own. You know, they're thinking about all these possibilities. Then they like, damn. So what if I get in this divorce? I ate. 86 you I stabbed you in the back and then you fucking reject me Scorpio like what the fuck I look like then you know but you could probably be happy because either way go you're not happy in this marriage whoever you are okay thank you for leaving me okay so Scorpio you probably 86 this nigga you probably was like bye nigga deuces you know this mean separation this mean together all right so you know what I'm saying? As you took your energy back, you was like, whatever. Or Scorpio, this Pisces could have left you and you could have been like, thank you for leaving me, nigga. You just let me boss up even more. Okay, so somebody could have ran their checkup big time after somebody 86 them and left their energy here. Okay, but take it as it resonates. Um, what did you want from me? Okay, so somebody is also thinking like, what the fuck did you want from me? Like, shit, I was married, you know? So somebody is definitely married. It's like, what kind of commitment, bitch, did you think you was going to get from me when you know I got a whole bitch at home okay like nigga what 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 did you think this nigga was gonna give you when he's married like I always tell people like when somebody is married or you dealing with somebody that's married or whatever leave that nigga alone leave that bitch alone you know I know that there are circumstances where you know you really care about somebody or whatever but at the same time they have to go home to another energy and so that person can't stand up for themselves, which it looks like Scorpio or Pisces this person is doing it you know I'm happy I heard when I about your divorce somebody is waiting on news from a divorce like I cannot wait that I hear about that shit okay and then you could start over and you could see if you want to move forward with this energy, okay? But this person is also feeling like they made a lot of mistakes with you. Like, every fucking time they tried to even get on the right page with you, they just... You know, they didn't move right. And it's because of them being in a toxic relationship. I always tell you guys who you lay with, who you sleep with, who you eat with, who you ride or die for. If that person is toxic, you too will then emulate that energy and be toxic as fuck as well. So you got to be very careful with who you decide to invest your energy to. I don't really know you. All right. So a lot of people, you know, in this situation, you could be on the Pisces side or you could be on the Cancer side. Either, I mean, the Scorpio or the Pisces. Oh, you could be dealing with a Cancer here too, okay? But the, the thing is, they don't really feel like they know you, you know? It's like, how could I really just divorce somebody I'm with for somebody I don't even know today, okay? So maybe you've known this person for a really long time, but you don't know this person as an adult. You don't know this person as a person who pays bills or does stuff, you know what I mean? You don't know this person as a father. You don't know this person as a mother. And they're really looking at that, you know what I'm saying? They're really looking at like how they don't really know you. But they're also looking at how they invested in the energy that they knew very well that really fucked them, okay? You know what I'm saying? Because you got to be paying attention to that shit too. Red flags in reverse. This person seen all the red flags with who they was dating or married to. And they just ignored it, okay? So let's see what else spirit wants to say. Scorpio's dealing with a Pisces. Hella water in this motherfucker. Okay. So now this person is like, look, I need to focus on me. I need to do what makes me happy. This person could carry a lot of burdens. This person could be a leader or a boss in some kind of way. But this person is now focusing on self love okay they need time to heal scorpio this person pisces need time to fix they self if this is a scorpio they are healing themselves they're walking away from no one no longer serves them their balls or you know everything has dropped you know and they're focusing on self-love over everything they healing right now okay so if you haven't heard from your person it's because your person is healing yeah 
All right. Your person was dating somebody that was karmic as fuck, wild, vindictive, gama, drama, gossip. I'm hearing goblin. This person could have even put black magic on you. You was my prized possession. This person definitely knew about you, Scorpio or Pisces. This person definitely knew about you, Pisces. OK, whoever they were married to. And they just felt like, hell nah. you know, what I'm saying you're not finna sail away from me. You're not finna move on from me. OK, so whoever they was married to, they was like, hell nah. you're going to stay here with me. You can't go nowhere. We're going to be together forever, nigga, forever, ever, forever. Ever, ever. Okay, so somebody really just didn't want to walk away. You know what I'm saying? They were just like, nah, and you're not going to leave me for somebody fine. This person could be really fine. This person could have really sexy legs here. Okay, this person could be very sophisticated because even though this girl is in reverse, you know, this girl in the upright, wow, this person follow their desires. They go after their dreams and ambitions like they are they a wild card. You know what I mean? They're free spirited, should I say? All right, so let's see what's going on. Let's see what these confessions talking about, okay? Spirit, what's going on with the Scorpio dealing with the Pisces, okay? I stayed in my head when it comes to you. Okay, so this person is definitely not communicating with you. They watching you. They stalking you. They going back and forth. Should I say something? Should I not? Should I fuck with it? Should I didn't? Maybe I did. Maybe I shouldn't. Okay, every day this person is going through their head. Ooh, the, the water signs, I can see that, you know? This person is heavily in their mind they stay in their head about you like what should i do like i made the wrong decision what if they reject me like nigga if you don't get off off your motherfucking high horse and make amends man i be telling y'all y'all hold your own selves back scorpio or pisces take it as it resonates okay you don't need to be in your head about how can you be in your head about somebody that has no flaws but be so certain on somebody who got all the flaws in the world just because you had kids with them, nigga, you need to get your mind right, okay? All right, so somebody is thinking about how you inspire them to do what they need to do. You inspire them to push them to go in the right direction. You inspire them to be the best versions of themselves. You inspire them to just do everything. You could have inspired this person to be an entrepreneur. You could have inspired this person to goddamn start their own business, do their own thing, run away from their, you know, problems. Not run away from, but just stand up. That's what I'm hearing. Stand up. All right. So you could inspire this person to stand up for themselves. All right. Scorpio dealing with a Pisces. OK, I don't know why this shit happened in reverse. This person know exactly why this shit happened. It has now been revealed to this person why they moved the way they did, did the shit they did. You know what I'm saying? And they don't know. They don't know if you feel the same way. Like they like, how do you feel with them stalking your social media? You cannot be watching somebody's social media thinking you're going to piece together pieces of the puzzle you gotta go to this person you gotta step to this nigga and be like yo nigga what's up like i've never been like that if i want something i tell the person hey did what i want you gonna come over here you gonna give me what i want or you not and if you not more blessings to you go do what you gotta do where you gotta do with that you know what i'm saying so somebody like look i don't know but do you feel the same way like like do you if i come back you gonna say yeah Checks box, yes or no? Let me know, all right? So let's see what's going on. Scorpio dealing with a Pisces. What the fuck, okay? So somebody feels like... <clears throat> they're starting to realize their inner childhood woundings and like where these behavior comes from their mom their dad their uncle you know their auntie where does it raise you know where does all this stuff come from they're really starting to see their inner childhood woundings now whoever they invested in don't see that shit the person that they are married to or getting this divorce from this person just just has problems these problems stem from their family how their mom treated them and how their dad treated them but they don't give a fuck you know they just feel like this is how they are and you just need to take me how i am because we got married and you can't leave me um i don't know about that you know what i'm saying like somebody feel like that even though their parent was a bad parent you just need to take them as they are um your person scorpio or pisces they pretend like they do not care about you like they be like man fuck scorpio man i don't like that whole like that like i like her but i don't like her you know and if this is a pisces it's pisces like man fuck that bro like you know she weird as fuck anyway but this this shit is this nigga is lying okay this nigga is stalking you watching you they feel like they made a mistake on your ass they feel like you inspired them they love you they they i don't know bro i don't know but this person they 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 wear a mask you know they pretend and they flex like you don't matter when really you the truth you the only time they felt at home and the thing is this is a mutual 
feeling. These, these two people really care about each other, okay? Scorpio dealing with a Pisces. I'm telling you, this Scorpio, this Pisces, they really fuck with you, but somebody out here got a mask on like a motherfucker, acting flugazy as fuck, okay? I can't get enough of you in reverse. Yeah, this person secretly stalks you. Mm -hmm. I can't get enough of you in reverse. This person tried to pull their energy from you. This person tried to work their ass off just so they can they don't have to pay attention to you or everything, but it don't work. Their, their spirit guides and ancestors is literally making you show up in a dream. They could be hearing your name everywhere. They could be just watching you everywhere. Everything, every place this person turned to, they see you. OK, yeah. And there was a third party who interfered with this situation. I feel like this could have been co-workers who interfered with this situation. I feel like a, a, a parent interfered with this situation. But there was a lot of external third parties and even the wife. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I, I mean, you don't want to fuck with your wife. You don't want to fuck with your husband. That's on you. But you got to clean up your own mess here. OK, so there was a lot of external um parties here giving people advice and stuff stuff like that just was not needed you know somebody was giving somebody advice that was bad okay and there was there was a lot of interference here okay scorpio's dealing with a pisces Scorpio dealing with a Pisces. Damn. Okay. So somebody don't want to be patient no more. They want to come in. All right. Somebody's stability could have gotten fucked up. So a relationship has definitely went down here and somebody feel like Scorpio, I'm not going to lie. This your card in your reading. Somebody feel like you a whole fucking mystery. Somebody feel like you a whole spiritual lesson. Somebody feel like you the whole damn package. Somebody feel like you just the truth. All right. This relationship can stand the test of time. Somebody also feel like they can have a very stable relationship with you. And somebody just feel like, you know, you, you they running out of time. You're like you get impatient. You know what I'm saying? Somebody wants you to be a little bit more patient. Scorpio or Pisces. Somebody wants you to be a little bit more. You know what I mean? Wait on a nigga or wait on a bitch. Somebody ain't waiting no more. Somebody ain't waiting no more. Somebody moving the fuck on, okay? I left when I saw you with somebody else. So somebody is just like, damn, this person, it could be you or the other person, Pisces or whatever, take it as it resonates. But this person only really come back towards you when they see you with somebody else. They're like, hey, what's up? Let me let me say hey. Like, hey, like, why you coming in and saying hey if you don't have nothing to offer, boo-boo, Okay um i had behind material of things in reverse okay so this person hid behind a superficial relationship superficial situation and now they ain't doing that shit no more now they want to do what's authentic they want to follow their own path they want to pick what is the road less travel they want to invest in love they want to invest in something that's of quality they want to invest in something that makes sense this person is tired of wearing a flugazy ass mask and they don't want to hide behind no materialistic things no more they want something of quality they want something solid and they want something that's long lasting this nigga won't love boom 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 all right so somebody won't love okay damn spirit is there anything else you want to say okay it's in reverse yeah entrapment okay so this person was definitely in their head okay they was just stuck you know it kept saying that like i just be stuck in my head i don't make no moves on you somebody coming out of that trapment somebody like hell nah you know i'm gonna get mine i want mine okay so somebody's getting out of being stuck in a motherfucking head okay that's good. You can't be stuck in your head about what you want, you know? I'm different now, all right? So somebody's saying, I'm different. Man, I'm different. They're going to pull up in the scene super motherfucking clean, all right? So somebody's saying, like, Scorpio or Pisces. Like, somebody's saying, hey, I'm different now. What's up? Let me holler at you right quick. 